Hi, in this video, we're going to create and save a report within your app call account. Now there's many places that you can create a report and it's all based on which module you're in. So if you want to generate a report specific to your matters, you can do that from the matters module. If you wanted to run, say, a documenting report, that would be based on tasks from your task module. And you can run reports from billing as well, uh, prior art, contacts. Uh, for this example, why don't we do a report on specific matters, a certain type of matter, and a certain client. And let's, let's uh, go through some examples here. So first, uh, we're in the matters module, and we're going to start filtering our data, which is going to be the basis for our report. So we're going to go down here to the change view section, and we're going to click add filters. And we get our filter pop up. And let's, in this example, why don't we begin with client? Okay, so we have client up here. Why don't we say we want to do this for client, and then we get a if it's a fixed set of values, we're going to return a list of all those. Uh, sometimes it's going to be a text field that you would have to enter, but you'll, it'll become clear once you pick what uh, filter field you want to use. So let's pick Andromy. And now if we click Add, that's going to come back and tell us how many rows, or in this case, how many matters are from client Andromy. And then we can continue to add more filters here. So why don't we say where the type of matter, in this case, it's called type. And again, we're going to get a list here of all the types of matters. Let's say we're just interested in non-provisionals. Again, you can choose multiple. Now, if we click add, it'll come back and tell us that there's uh, 17 matters that meet both of these criteria. And again, you can filter further. Uh, for example, maybe you're interested in uh, ones that only are for a certain country. So why don't we try country code of US? Click add. So again, it's further narrowed from here. Uh, you could also use um, or command. So maybe you want to do US or I'm not sure if we have any Japanese in here. Okay, looks like we have one Japanese. Once you got your filters, you're gonna click execute. And that's gonna actually run the query, return your data for you. And then if we go ahead and bring over the country column, for example, just add it right here for the moment. Oh, that's contributor, country. We see that all of these, again, meet the criteria of only non-provisionals, client of Andromy, and country of either US or Japan. Down here in the change view, once you've added one or more filters, you will see them here. So you don't have to go into edit filters to see them. You can just quick snapshot here. Here are your filters. If you want to make changes to those filters, you can click edit and perhaps you want to remove a filter or change or add additionals you can you know delete with these trash cans here you can click on one make changes if you wish and then when you make those changes and re-click execute it'll uh, return the different data for you uh, now you saw me click into columns up here so you may have certain columns you want to show in this scheduled report. So if you click columns, you're going to have a list of all the columns that are currently being shown and all the columns that are available. And as you can see, there's numerous data points available for your matters. So you're able to pick and choose whichever ones you want. Um, I'm going to go ahead and let's say we do want to keep country. I'm going to maybe move it down here. Maybe I don't need to see the first inventor. So let's get rid of that. 
um, perhaps we want to see uh, the status. Go down to status, bring it over, and then when we're ready, we can go ahead and click OK. And now we, again, have our status, which ones are pending, issued, etc. Now what we're going to do is to save this, to run it again, we're going to click Save View as Report. Click on that, give it a name. So let's say Andrew Me um, Provisional. Provisionals. Okay, you can give a more detailed report if you want. Uh, and then at this point, if you click Save, that has now been saved as a report that will show up in your drop down under Matter from the Matters tab. Uh, so, to show you how this works, I'm going to click this trash can, and that's going to remove all the filters that we had in there. Now you're back to seeing all your data. And it also keeps whatever columns we had brought over. So, we had added status and country. To get back to your standard default columns, if you click on columns, click default, that'll get back to the primary one. So we don't have country anymore. Now we're seeing first inventor again. Now if we select our report from the dropdown, and hear me non-provisionals, it's basically running the same filters that we had created and returning your data along with the new columns we had brought over. So that is how you uh, create and save a report. Uh, you do also have the option to run this from the reports module. Because as I mentioned, if you created a report based on your matters, you've got to run it from here. If we go over to tasks, for example, and click the drop down, we're only going to see specific reports based on tasks. But if you go to reports, You'll have this drop down here, and this has every report that's been created regardless of what module. So we can run our Andromy non-provisionals from here and see our data. The last step is if you want to delete a report and not have it show up anymore in your drop downs, to do that, you have to come into the reports module, run it from the drop down, and then you can click this trash can which deletes that from the system. And uh, there you go. That's all we have for this afternoon. Thanks, everybody.